go. How's everybody today? <laughs> I want to talk about chess and tarot cards and how the two are um, pretty much the same in a lot of ways. And um, I think that um, it's a good way to compare, the, it's a good way to get an idea of what we're really doing with the uh, when we, read, when we read the cards. If we look at a chessboard the same way we can look at a card spread. And we can look at the chess pieces the same way we look at the tarot cards. There's different style chess sets, there's different style tarot cards, and um, none of that really makes as much difference as how we play the pieces on a chess set. And how we read these cards in a reading. That's what's important. We can study these pieces and the style of them on chess all we want to. It doesn't make us a better chess player. We can study the meanings of tarot cards all we want to. It doesn't make us a better card reader. It's how we play the game of reading tarot cards, if you want to call it that. Just like how we play the game of a game of chess. That's what's important. So when we when we take a lot of time and effort to learn uh, card meanings, uh, we're we're focusing a lot on the cards themselves and and um, instead of the application we're using with those cards. And I think that that's a mistake. I think that's like focusing on the styles of different chess sets to think that's going to help us become a master chess player. Understanding the application, I think, is the best thing for you with the tarot cards. And, and knowing how important the application works and why it works will help you determine how you read the six of wands in position five or six of wands in position three with this reading or that reading and how you read the world card in position f six and um, with this particular client every every reading you do is a new reading just like every game of chess you play is a whole new situation. Using the same pieces, whole new situation using the same deck. So focusing a lot on the, on the cards themselves, thinking that that's where the key is, I think is a mistake. I think focusing on how you're using them and the best way to focus on that is to look at the application and fine-tuning that. Having a rough idea of what cards mean, that's great. But learning to get those cards to spark ideas for you is what it's all about. And um, if you learn tarot cards, it won't make any difference to you. You'll have preference on what deck you're using. But it really won't make any difference to you if you're using this deck or that deck. It doesn't make any difference. Just like if I could play a good game of chess with a Staunton classic uh, tournament set like this, or if I was using a, a American Civil War chess set or a Lord of the Rings chess set, you still know the game, and the game can still be played well. You can read tarot cards, whether it's the Ryder deck or the Marseille deck or the Thoth, or it doesn't make any difference. The tarot cards. So studying the application and how you use it will help you a lot in your readings. And um, that's that.
Think of the think of a card spread like a chessboard. Nothing's on it yet until you lay those pieces on it. It's like there's nothing on that card spread until you lay those cards in it. And then how you play those cards is like how you move these pieces. You can move them all sorts of different ways. You can read those cards in all sorts of different ways. That'll determine how good your reading is. Just like it determines how well you did in your game of chess. I got this set because I always wanted a, a um, wooden Staunton tournament regulation chess set. I'm not a chess master. I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm a novice player. I haven't played a game of chess in ten years, but but the the the, the chess set on the table makes me happy to see. I like to see that. I just like to see it. And um, so I always have someday I'm going to break down and buy a nice wooden regulation chess set and board. So that's what I did. U.S. Games Federation, you can spend thousands of dollars for just the pieces if you wanted. Or you can spend a couple hundred bucks and get a nice set. This is um, <laughs> more than a couple hundred dollars. Type. But something I always wanted, and um, so I finally did it. And that's that. Hope I see you at the next uh, tarot gathering. It's um, second Tuesday of the month. Next month is February. I think it might be the 9th, I think, 9th of February. Noon, noon Chicago time, and um, go to tarotmaps.com, link down below. Go to tarot gatherings in the menu, and there's a link, there'll be a link there right to the Zoom meeting. And come on by, say hi, stay for 10 minutes, or stay for the whole thing. It doesn't make any difference. It's just We're just getting together to talk cards, having a good time. And if you miss it, I pre-record I record them, so I will have a YouTube of it. So keep throwing cards. It's your move. <laughs> and we'll talk soon. Take care.